Hello, Cancer, the crab. I'm Noelle with followtheplanets.com, also on Facebook and Instagram. You can contact me there. I do astrology readings as well as tar tarot card readings. And Cancer, boy, do we have a lot to talk about for the month of June. So please get your notepad out, your... Uh, your calendar because there's a lot going on. Um, I'm first going to talk about the eclipses. You are ruled by the moon, so eclipses uh, really do affect cancers. And please uh, take a look at my um, my video about eclipses and what, what to do, what not to do, what to expect. So we're gonna hop right into it. I do jump around a little on these dates because there's so much going on, but the eclipse, the first one we have is June 5th. This is a full moon lunar eclipse. It's in your sixth house of Sagittarius. And so full moons are an ending, an accumulation, something revealed. And uh, this is uh, really about the big picture of philosophy, higher education on your work how you function each day, your daily organization, your health, your fitness, um, pretty much the, that, those day-to-day -day type of tasks. It also impl includes employees and employers. And this one is a rough one. Uh, there's conflict going on and how you want to take action in this big picture. Um, and it could have to do with uh, something spiritual or creative, something you want to take action in those areas, as well as it could have to do something um, with an institution, something you want to take action with in what's coming to a full with this big picture in your daily work routine with this, this, uh, spiritual or, or this it's very mysterious but it's there there's some sort of of conflict there and what I'll tell you what to do to help relieve this conflict is uh, to get organized really attend to your health um, um, have a plan get everything organized for your whole week uh, you know get your food set up get know when you're going to work out um, um, and also uh, it's a good time to really write all of this stuff down um, really get into writing and communicating this organized way and uh, and and looking and researching on on what to make and what what new fitness activities you can do that would really help you during during this eclipse that's going to have conflict around now we're going to move to the solar eclipse and this one is very strong for you cancer it's a new moon uh, solar eclipse in your sign at zero degrees so it's it's like it's like a quadruple new moon, new beginning for you. And this is an area of you, yourself, your appearance, how you express yourself, how you show up, um, your attitude, uh, first impressions, um, how you dress, um, how you approach things, your, ident your identity. Um, and it, this is a big deal. We have Mercury retrograde in the, your sign as well at this time. I'm gonna go over Mercury retrograde as well, but it's gonna be like you want a new start, but there's gonna have to be a lot of review and redoing and uh, reanalyzing this new start on what it is that you want for you, um, how you're gonna communicate write down how you talk to your siblings or neighbors and how you want to um, address this new beginning is going to really come up with communication that that really has to be redone um, this is really strong for you 
and then we've got um, we've got another full moon lunar eclipse on uh, on on July 4th Independence Day and this one is in let me see here this one is in your um, seventh so th this is regarding a partner um, so this there's a full moon full moons are that that ending or something coming to accumulation with a partnership and it could be with your career they're contractual partnerships or marriage it's um it, it's about sharing and and equality within this partnership and it looks like it has something to do with your career and it's coming to a full now there's a benefit with this one in that it's really in alignment with you moving forward there could be some surprise and shock around this but it is a good thing it's harmonious for you and uh, it's grounding as well it has to do with structure and building and money and love and 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 it also is in the area of uh, you want to look for this harmony between the partnership and and groups hopes dreams and friends um, humanitarianism so look for something that's very harmonious with that full moon coming to an end with this futuristic um, way of, of really um, functioning in a group setting and and there's a there is a, there is an opportunity with this group and, and something that's going to propel you into the future with what you want for you. Your home, your, your family, your security, um, and, and what, what will really add, add to that and, and how you express yourself in these ways. And now Mercury is still retrograde by uh, July 4th. Mercury goes retrograde let me see it, June 18th till July 11th. And so um, she is still retrograde during this lunar eclipse on July 4th. And so things are still gonna be coming back and coming up with, with your home and your domestic world, your mom, your any sort of feminine energy, anything related to emotions and security. So there's gonna be a lot of review that needs to continue to happen with that. Although um, that, that lunar eclipse has some really good alignments there with, with something propelling you into the future. Um, and then uh, some more notes to take here. We've got um, um, June 4th. Okay, so June 4th, and this is a lot about you here, um, Cancer, because um, Mercury is in your sign. And Mercury is going to be making some, continuing to make these, these connections uh, where you are going to get an opportunity in something that's going to propel you into the future. By, few, by that I mean technology, science, um, something uh, that can really get you a jump start ahead. And on June 4th, I want you to take notes on what happens that day, what communications are going on, what you're thinking, um, who you're talking to, what you're doing all day. Write everything down, what you're doing on June 4th. It's going to come back again. And, 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 and look for that opportunity in something that's grounding, that will propel you into the future, that has to do with groups, humanity, um, hopes and dreams. That, th those, that's the theme because June 30th, um, it's going to come back again. And whatever talks happened on the 4th, they're going to be 
even even more expanded uh, could be more assertive um, it could be um, where where it, it's it's about like identity and your purpose and um, it's really about a creative life force that that this communication is combined with in how you present yourself something around security in your home and um, even though if you're talking with people they might want to move forward with this you want to you really don't want to move forward with it yet you want to wait until July 20th and 22nd to move forward with it what you do want to do is you want to brainstorm and review and write down and think of um, these ways that could really expand your communication and and create an opportunity with something in the future so um, those are the actions to take those are the notes to take to see what comes back again and when to take action and then mercury is going retrograde in your sign um, so mercury entered your sign on may 28th it's going retrograde on june 18th and it goes direct on july 11th and uh so here are some notes to take here so i want you to again take notes on what happens on june 1st what you think what you're communicating especially around your home with your mom with females um something that has to do with the security in the home um let's see um self-care um, your roots, basically your roots, what, what, what is communicated um, on this day. And then between June, I'm sorry, between July 9th and July 14th, I want you to see what comes back. What comes back about these talks on June 1st? Um, there's more dates to write down for June as well I want you to write down what happens between June 13th and June 22nd each day same kind of thing write down what you're thinking what who you're talking to what kind of emails you're, you're writing um, you want to write down um, everything that you're doing on that day um, and that will come back uh, in July, the later in July. So we can review that again at the end of July. So those are the notes I want you to take for Mercury. And then um, we have, let me see here, we have Venus. We have Venus. Um, now, Venus is going direct on June 24th, and um, if you've been following me, I wanted you to take notes on what happened on April 9th, what went on on that day, because it will come back again June 19th to the 30th. So, um, take notes each day and match them with what happened on the 9th to see what has what comes back again and uh let's see venus is going direct on the fifth and watch my video about venus in retrograde mercury i have a video on mercury and mercury and retrograde as well on what to do what not to do and um after so up until july 24th it's a time that you're really rethinking the areas of what Venus is about which is love charm beauty grace pleasure um, you're not very active in these areas um, or if you try to move forward with something about that it, it just there's some sort of disconnect with it um, what is a good time to do is review write down read read about maybe ways that you can update update and how you um how you love 
how charming you are what kind of beauty products you want to do now um, um, it's better to uh, go get your hair cut and do anything new with beauty after she goes direct so wait a few days after um, after June 24th to move forward with any new style or, or new way of working and also um, with Venus in Gemini it's about communicating love and it can be very spiritual for you um, it, it can be about letting go and a healing through love for you cancer so you can really heal with love through communication through reading books through writing and um, and that's a beautiful thing so really review all of those types of things in your life because when it goes direct then then you can start taking action with love and communicating how you love um, and then next we have Mars Mars is the planet of energy, action, uh, spontaneity, it's about drive and ambition, and um, Mars is in Pisces, in, let me see here, in your ninth house, and uh, he is traveling through this house until June 28th, in which he will shift into his home rule ruling sign of of Aries so this is a great time for you cancer because um, you can really take action in this fellow water sign of Pisces and um, and and really take action in spirituality and creativity and uh, and also anything uh, if you want to take action in something that that's an institution that includes hospitals um, government prisons uh, psychology uh, religion so um, if you want to take action there in which you can philosophize and expand on your philosophy um, that's a really positive thing for you to do while Mars is moving through this and you want to take action within it you could join um, some some yoga or some meditation from somebody from another part of the world um, that would be another beneficial action to take with Mars in this area um, so those are the things that you want to do those are the things that you want to do cancer during this month there's a lot going on expect the shifts watch my videos on venus retrograde Mar mercury retrograde and also my videos on what to do during these eclipses lots of shifts are going on all right thank you so much cancer the crab i'm noelle with followtheplanets.com if you'd like a reading please contact me there thank you so much